Hello, my name is Michael Friedrich. I work for the Pacific States Marine Fisheries Commission. We are contracted out by the Department of Idaho Fish and Game to run their Idaho fish marking program. We're at Clearwater Fish Hatchery where we're clipping adipose fins off of Chinook salmon. So after we've set up the fish trailers and then we got everything ready to go on the outside, we typically come into the vat room with one of the fish pumps. Currently we have a crowd rack in, there's not much fish left in the vat and we're just trying to crowd them into the hose. Then you can see the fish slowly coming in, being sucked into the fish pump and that fish pump gets them to the specific trailer that's working with this vat of fish. So as the fish came from the vat room via the fish pump, it comes to here to a dewatering device that takes them into the trailer to the next step. So the first thing we do is we'll bring the fish in into this main trough to my right, and then we have a small fish pump that'll move the fish up into a small holding tank above the sorter. And then from that holding tank, they will go into a sorter and there's a camera there that will measure each fish to a tenth of a millimeter. There's two channels that do that. And we measure each individual fish to size sort them to the automated lines. Computer right over here on my left is the sorter computer. This process will show the measuring of the fish to the tenth of a millimeter and sending that fish to the appropriate location. What also is being shown in the sorter is the, uh, the lines, how they're set up based on a minimum and maximum of a tenth of a millimeter and correlated with a fish per pound. So once the fish have been sorted, this is the automated line section where they will get adipose fin clip currently. We can also be coated wire tagging with the blue part of the machines that's a Mark IV. And the clipping aspect occurs right here in this part of the line. The fish hits the head bolt and then engages the whole system. So as the fish will travel down this channel, there's a head mold right here that the fish's nose will go into and there's a sensor here that triggers it. These are the clamps. The clamps will then, once the nose triggers the nose sensor, the clamps close in on the fish. The clamps have pads on them with belly pads. It arches that fish's back to pop the adipose fin up so that this camera then can find the adipose fin, then it'll send the clipper down, it's on an X and Y axis. It'll clip the fin, the camera will verify the clip. Like I said before, if it likes the clip, it'll send it down, divert it out the back of the trailer, and then to a uh, irrigation pipe to the appropriate raceway where those fish need to go. So these are the line computers. It's showing you what's actually happening on the line as it's clipping. So you can see the fish come in, they get clamped, it pops the adipose fin up, the clipper comes down, clips it, gets verified and it goes on its way. Otherwise it'll reject it, the reject bin for the uh, manual clippers in the manual section to go through them and hand clip them and send them on their way. So this is the manual section. We have one to two technicians back here. They're getting the outliner sizes of the too big, the too small that have been sorted, as well as the rejected fish. And they clip them by hand with blue pair of scissors. And or coated wire tagging machines by hand as well. So they'll clip about 6,000 to 8,000 fish in eight hours. This will bring me into those automated lines range from 40,000 to 70,000 fish in eight hours. So obviously the automated lines are way more efficient than everybody using a blue pair of scissors. We do sedate the fish with MS-222 so that the manual clippers can handle them. Otherwise, they'll put a little more stress on the fish and we don't want to do that. Once the fish has been processed and have good adipose fin clips or coated wire tags or bolt, they get moved along through irrigation pipe out of the back of the trailers to the appropriate raceway where they're designated. They're here till they are released the next spring.